Hello and welcome, this is Nuclear Rabbit, and today I am going to be playing a Hydra Sorceress yet again. This is my third attempt at this, and at some point I should actually be able to beat the game with it, I hope. As usual, we start off by farming the counters for a stealth. After that, we move along to Radamans. We also find a unique long staff, which is the Serpent. Or the Serpent Lord. Which I'm gonna use till I hit level 19, at which point I am making a leave. And look at me being such a good boy this time. I'm actually gambling for equipment. There's my leave stuff as well. I decided this run to start as a fire sorceress. And yeah, that's, that's it's just a bit different. I had done a bunch of charged bolt sorceresses at this point. I was like, nah, I need something different. So I decided to start as a fire sorceress. Also just felt more on theme with the Hydra sauce. If you're wondering why we killed Duriel and we didn't see Andariel, it's because I lost the footage. It wasn't a very exciting fight or anything. I just staticed her and then firebolted her a bunch. In Act 3, we go ahead and grind for levels. Yes, you heard that right. I am grinding for levels. This character is called Safety and that's a reminder to myself. Play it safe. Yeah, I do a bunch of runs and I go all the way up to like level 25. I was surprised as well. And after that I head to the council. Even on normal, it's a pretty rough fight, but eh. We'll make it through. I mean, this, this is definitely a hard fight. Considering this is a sorceress with static on normal, this is a pretty damn hard fight. After that, my natural instinct kill, kicks in. We are going to kill Mephisto, so I'm wearing magic find. I can't help myself. I just can't. And usually I speed up these boss fights, but static is a thing, so I don't need to. And yes, this is me farming Mephisto. Normal. I'm that safe. After that, we go ahead and safely work our way through Act 4, where nothing happens at all, ever. And then we go ahead and kill Ishua for some skill points and head to Diablo. And yeah, the boss fights with this character are just like, here's a static, there's a static, die. And we make our way slowly but surely through Act 5 for some more grinding. We're gonna go to Eldritch. So yeah, that was totally safe walking. Just like last time. But yeah, we're doing like a bunch of Eldritch run. I believe I go up to like level 28. 30, I believe, might even be hit. Not sure. 30 sounds way too high though. No, I think I went to like 28 or something. Then I hit up... Anya, who is just chilling out down below. And after that, I go ahead and fight the Ancients. And the basic tactic for this is just uh, splitting them up. And then fighting them one by one. If you want to go three on one with them, it's, uh, it's a very different category on the internet. If you want to go three, dude, so... So yeah, just going one by one. After that, we had to bail. Just, yeah, as usual, just static him down. While his tentacles uh, come up and play. Your Hydras don't ignore those, which is annoying. I'd much rather have them just target the bail on himself. And we find this belt. This belt's insane. 13 strength and 50 resist all on a belt is very good. It's one of the best belts I've found in one of these runs so far. After that, I farm Pindle for levels. As I am doing so much farming on this, but I do end up going to Nightmare eventually. Where I go and farm the Countess, who drops me this ring. Half freeze duration, 10 FCR. It's better than the one I'm wearing, which is just 10 FCR. So. And yes, lots of farming here as well. I end up finding a Jacked Star as well, which is a Algus Rhythm. Which I had this one with three sockets on my Blade Sin run, but it is what it is. 
After the counts, I make a lore. And I socket my sword so I can make a spirit. I also make an ancient splash, by the way. That's what that shield is. And after that, we safely and slowly but surely go towards Andariel. Who we. Yeah, Andariel's just weak to fire, so yeah. Nah, this isn't a hard fight at all. And. Nothing happens in Act 2 Nightmare. Act 2 Nightmare is like the middle point of the game. It's like, well, your character is kind of functioning now. And the game isn't very hard yet, so. So here's Durion. Who drops a lot of town pods. And after that, we make our way through the forest in Act 3. It's very hard, very rough. Yeah, the entire forest took me like... Three or four minutes. I just teleported to the end. It's so easy. Like playing a sorceress is playing like a different game than the other characters. After that, we do the council again. Which even this time is just a hard fight. But it's easier than on normal because you have your skills and they don't have their immunities yet. So the nightmare council fight's actually easier than the normal one. So we clear out the council. And we head to Mephisto, where my magic finding instincts did not kick in this time. I'm only wearing an MF helmet, that's all. Just three topaz in a helmet. And I'm actually being very responsible with the rest of my gear. I mean, I'm wearing gear, that's just way more responsible than last time. And yes, there will be Mephisto farming, but not yet, quite yet, I believe. I believe I do Israel first. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing Israel first, plus skill points, obviously. And I find a Tal Russia's Atlas Eye from him, which is worse than Spirit. After that, I go and do my Hellforge, where I get a Lum Room, which is nice, and then I go and kill Diablo even. Wow, I went deep. Thought I was farming Mephisto way earlier than this. Oh well, killing Diablo. It's not a hard fight at this point. And there comes the Mephisto farm. I found Mephisto for hours, like actual hours. And I end up finding a Skaldus, which is one of my favorite items to find. I love finding Skaldus. I've only found two of them, I believe, ethereal in my life, but Skaldus is just such a cool find. And after that, I farm some more, and I end up finding what probably is the best item in this run, a Serpent Skin Armor, which is Skin of the Viper Magi. With 31 resist all 30 FCR and 1 skills, it's just insanely good. And with that, I decide I'm ready to go to hell, so let's go. Same strategy as on normal, the ancients. And one of them is fire immune, so I have to be careful with that. But I do have frozen orb at this point, so less splitting up because I couldn't pull them apart. But it's okay, we got there. And sl safely, slowly and surely make it towards the throne. I fight Lister and Bale once again. I, I just staticked him and he died. Like it, it was a 5 second fight. I farmed all the way up to level 54 before I tried the pit. And I was I was in my inventory when I got attacked, so that's uh, dangerous. I do end up finding a Monarch. It's ethereal, which is great. This saves me 10 strength, which is 20 life. So I'm very happy finding it ethereal. Use my socket quest on it. Make a spirit. It's a pretty bad spirit. I also make a smoke for my mercenary. And then we really get into hell. So this is me killing the smith. Bye bye. And here we are for Andariel, the final farming point for this run. Dariel dies. I do go a bit deeper at first. I kill Radamond. At this point, I'm noticing that I'm having trouble with the game. So I kill Radamond. I, I believe I even open up the Arcane Sanctuary and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I even open up the Arcane Sanctuary and then I decide to go farm on Dariel. So this is me. Also, look at me playing safe. I'm playing so safe. I'm going like Hydra's first, not running in, kiting properly. I'm doing. I'm playing so safe. Like every time. I was drinking a mana pot or out of mana. I saw safety in screen because then that's the name of my character. And I was like, oh man, I need to play safe. And I really did it. It really helped. 
Anyway, farming lots and lots of Andario. I did like three or four evenings of Andario farming. I mean, I, I believe I did like 200 rounds or something. And I ended up finding a Nocus on. Which is just, yeah, a thing. I also find it, found a Duriel. Which is a perfect armor for my mercenary. I I do think I take Duriel Shell over Smoke. It's pretty close, actually. And after that, I go ahead and farm some more. And I find a unique amulet. It's a Seraph's Hymn. Plus two skills on an amulet is just nice. The rest of this is kind of eh, whatever, but it's nice. I find a IK Helm. And then literal next run, I find another one. But the more important part of this is that I found a Tall Rush's helmet. And Tall Rush's helmet is one of the best helmets in the game for solo self out Life, mana, resist. For a melee character, tons of life leech. Although I don't understand why Tall Rush has a ton of life leech. Like, what the hell? Why are those not on the IK helm? But it, that's my thing. After that, I decide I'm ready for Duriel. So I fight Duriel. And after that, it's to the council again for the third time. Really one of the hardest fights in the run for this character, just the council is so rough. There's lots of immunities, lots of things exploding, hydras everywhere, blizzards in the north, blizzards in the south. Yeah, this works the same way as the ancient. Just split them up, take them on one by one. Find a set amulet, which is a tankless, which I immediately toss on the ground, but I know people want to see it, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that dude. And head to Mephisto. Yeah, not much to say here, he dies very easily. Like, this character is built to farm Mephisto, so yeah. After that, we had to issue up, because I want my skill points. And we had to have Fasto, who with the curse and the might aura is extremely dangerous. If he hits me, I'm dead. So let's demonstrate that with our mercenary. Our mercenary gets hit and dies. Like that, that's what it would have looked like on me. And it's a better look for my mercenary than it is on me. So I'm very happy that he died and not me. And then we had to the Chaos Sanctuary. Oh, we got a Go Rune from the the thingy, but we don't need. Like, I don't know what I would use a Go Rune for in this run. So yeah, slowly but surely making our way through the Chaos Sanctuary. And very safely off screen using my Hydras to kill so a lot of size. And after that, we just kind of, And this is why I always clear the Venom Lords as the final pack. I need the entire Chaos Sanctuary to clear them. I mean, people have asked me this, and I know speedrunners do it the other way around, but I just need the entire Chaos Sanctuary to do this. Which way do you go around? Do you go clockwise or counterclockwise? Let me know in the comments. Look at me being a good YouTuber and shit. Nice. Anyway, uh, Diablo being slowed by my Fusina. Oh, the mercenary has a unique Fusina with ha which has 50% uh, slow, so act bosses are kind of chanceless. 
And here we go for the Ancients on the Hell. I'm trying to split them up. But he's fire immune. Like, this feels super iffy. He's fire immune. They, they aren't splitting. Here's Maddox, who's extra fast and cursed. And that's also just very dangerous. And at this point, I'm like, nah, man, I'm not gonna do it. This is so risky. So we end up just abandoning that attempt and going for the next one. Which goes a lot better. I get Golic separated pretty quickly here. So Golic goes down. And Madoc and Talik both not extra fast, so I can just walk away from them as I go ahead and frozen up them a bunch. And as you can tell, this is a long fight. Like, this saucer towards the end really noticed how she wasn't doing that much damage. Like, a blizzard saucer or a meteor saucer would do much more damage. But, and this is very important, this is way cooler. And yes, I will at some point be running a Meteor or Blizzard Saucer. But I'm saving the good builds for last, so I don't have to do like 40 miserable builds in a, in a row. And yes, I know y'all are waiting for me to do the Spears on. There are so many people asking me to do the Spears on again. It will happen. No worries, it's in the queue. So slowly but surely I make my way through the Wordstone Keep where I'm actually playing very safe as you can tell. Like look at this, I'm using the Hydras to scout as well. It's so safe, like this took forever, like I had like a 30 minute bill run which is unheard of. With a Sorceress I mean, like I know a Druid will take this long or an Assassin, I, I know that. But for a Sorceress a 30 minute bill run is insanity. So we go through the backs. Just lots of kiting, lots of frozen orbing. Because those dudes have a ton of fire resist and these are just straight up fire immune, so no use in high dragging them. And yeah, here you can really tell that towards the end of the game like frozen orb and hydra are really cool but the damage is starting to fall off something feels like this is a lot of trouble to kill like one pack of bosses and it's working but it's yeah it's getting pretty slow like towards the end of the game this build really slowed down and i know i can run in and stack but i'm a sorceress and i don't want to be that close to them like i'd rather take 20 minutes and run up static them and have a risk of dying but i don't mind staticking bail because bail is just a wuss so here's the bail fight and once again i do not lose a character to bail the one thing in the game that hasn't killed me so far i think i still think that i really hope it stays that way and with that this is my gear i farmed a absolute ton in this run so my gear is pretty damn good i did like multiple evenings of Ontario runs, multiple evenings of Mephisto runs, I have, yeah, as you can tell, like, I'm wearing all good items, like, there's no bad item on this gear. And these are my skills. And this is my mercenaries equipment. And this is Guardian Safety. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.